the sub um, I always noticed was a bit rough. It wasn't as smooth as my previous vehicles. Um, so that led me to believe there might be something up with the compression ratio, the rings, oil control rings. I mean, it drinks a bit of oil, but that might be due to the oil I use. It's um, 5W30, which I believe is too low for a car that's that old and that, that many miles. So I'm going to do a compression test soon, hopefully later on. Um, but I've never done it before. don't know what it involves. I borrowed my brother's um, compression tester kit for petrol engines. Have a little crack at it. Never done this before, um, so uh, I look forward to it. But let's just quickly explore what it consists of. Well, it consists of a manual, quick how to use, it consists of this weird, strange something or another, and the actual measuring device that has the PSI and bars. PSI bar sensor. So I'm assuming that goes into the cylinder head, like so. That releases a valve pressure. The hell would you do with this? All right, so let's zoom in before heading outside. Now, it has 300 bars. No, 21 bars, 300 PSI. I'm not too sure what the sub should be running at, but I assume it's somewhere between 150 and 170. Um, I'm sure that's what I've used to measure the old cars, other cars, my previous cars. So, um, yeah, let's go find out. Still don't know what this, let me zoom back out, this instrument is. It's a funny little thing. No idea. Let's go outside. I know the first things to do is to remove the injector and the fuel pump. So I've kind of did that. It was on a right hand drive. Uh, let me zoom in. It was, um, that's the fuel pump and that's the injector. 10 amp, 20 amp. And that's a drive, right hand drive vehicle. Uh, so I did that. Now I'm going to set it up. But first things first remove the loom for the disc pack their t30s and i lost my one so i used a uh, a replacement nut uh, battery remains connected as you need to crank the engine so uh, let's get that started so i got my t30 and that and i took the bolt off i need a home to put this and i'm going to put it in here so it's nice and nice and safe uh, how do you open this? There we go. And voila. Uh, that'll hold. And it shouldn't be too long. Just Torx T30. What does it say? There we go. I don't know if you can see it. Camera's a bit poor here. And I've got my glasses on, so that doesn't help. So let me do that quick. That's done. That's quite easy. You need a screwdriver to take off the loom that's lurking underneath it. I don't know if you can see it but it is quite a fiddle to get to but uh, it's, yeah right there that red lip that you need to get into so let's have a quick you just have to push it in there and lift like so and with a little tug oh, there we go that should release it and to get the this pack off you have to kind of give it a shimmy so you pull from one and to another, to another, another, and then you have this big unit come off. Where can I put it? It's not light, by the way. It's got a bit of weight on it. Uh, so now we've got to remove uh, the spark plugs. I've got my kit. Here we go. We've never done this before. First time. Hopefully, it's quite simple. I did read up on it previously, so it shouldn't be too difficult. But I do know you get this, you take that off, and then you push this bit into the spark plug hole, and 
and crank the engine four times with the throttle body wide open. Luckily it's cable operated so I'm okay. So let's try that. In and let's give it a crank. Let's see what the results are. Pot one pushed out 12 bars, which is 100 and almost 80 psi, which in my is a bit too high. But let's check the other three. Pot. And this one reads just below 12. So, yep, yeah, gonna go into the third. So, slightly down. Third pot, and that red also just under 12 bars, which was similar to pot two, pot one so far, reading higher. Strange. On to the fourth. And the fourth is reading a lot lower than the rest. One was the highest, two, three was the same, fourth was the lowest. Hmm. On a wet dry test, I'm going to do a wet test. I'm going to do some WD-40 spray into the spark plugs and see what reading I get. I know they advise oil, but I reckon this will do more benefits than oil. It's thinner, get through, it might clean some of the rings or I'm sure it's a... Uh, so it's how do I quantify how much I'm putting in. If it's unbalanced, it could give different readings, right? Mm, let's see how it go. Doing a wet crank with WD-40. I'm sure it's reading the same. Bang on 12. So maybe I didn't squirt enough in there. Who knows? On to the second pot. Crank that was definitely higher than the first, so I don't know why number two is up and number one's the same. On to the other two, it's uh, just above 12, so I'm sure that one's higher than previous. Now, if this one goes higher, that means the rings are worn. If it's the same, it's the seals. Let's check it out. Fourth one, and that's what I got. So it's increased if I'm right. I think it was at 150, or just above. 